Who goes there? Really? He didn't mention anything about a meeting. The Master's dealing with some urgent business today. All prior appointments have been cancelled. Urgent business? What is it? <sighs> the Master's been working on a major business deal recently. He left early this morning to meet with a VIP client. So, where is he now? I'm sorry. The Master is stressed that we must not disclose that information to just anyone. Uh, no, I, I i mean, yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> I, I, I meant no offense. P please, believe me. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Master's currently in business negotiations at Shinya Kiosk. I, I beg for your mercy, please. My master will show me no leniency if he finds out. Well, my master has much more important things to do than talking to rude guards like you. Luckily for you, your bad attitude will be the last thing on his mind when he's busy negotiating a big business deal with your boss. Thank you, thank you. May your business forever be blessed by the Lord of Geo. Nice work! Paimon never knew you were such a tough negotiator. Is that so? Now Paimon knows not to let your wily ways get the better of her in the future. Anyway, seems like the VIP client in question must be one of the Fatui. In that case, let's get ourselves over to the Shinyue Kiosk. Seems business is booming at the Shinyue Kiosk. No one should notice if we blend in there. But either way, if we want to know what kind of shady business they're up to, we better be careful. I understand. I do. Please, do not worry. You have my word that the order will be completed as promised. Hmm. The subordinate I sent was not quite so optimistic in his appraisal. Is somebody being uncooperative? Uh, we just ran into a minor procurement problem, is all. We haven't managed to purchase the Core Lapis yet. But it's nothing for you to worry about. If Chang the Ninth won't sell, I can buy from someone else. That would be most ideal. I remind you again that the Fatui care only about the result. We are willing to lend a certain degree of support to this transaction. But if it is not completed in time, you may suddenly find our goodwill comes at a price you cannot afford. I understand. I am indebted to you for your protection. You know I would not dream of disappointing you, don't you? We shall see when the time comes. <laughs> Darn that old man Chang. So, Mr. Gentry Mozai is colluding with the Fatui. Who knows if Gua Geek has made any progress? Should we go tell him? Hmph! You said you had other things to look into, as if you're some sort of man of mystery! When actually, all you meant was you wanted somewhere new to park your backside while you read your book! I see. I guessed as much. Did you really guess, or are you just saying that to sound clever? The course of action we must take is now clear. To start with, please deliver this letter to the Feiyun Commerce Guild. They will know what to do. My liege. For reasons that I cannot explain, I will be unable to join you. There is no need for you to read the contents of the letter. When the time comes... Ugh, this writing is super hard to read. Python can't make heads or tails of it. Uh, hence why I said there is no need for you to read it. The Feiyun Commerce Guild will have someone who can understand it. But why would you want to get them involved? They're one of the big wig commerce guilds in Liyue. Why would they want to help us? Since we got to Liyue, Paimon keeps hearing people mention it. Seems they oversee a lot of business that goes on around here. 
Having such big backing would be great and all, but are you sure they'd want to help? No need to worry about that. From what I know, they share my sense of chivalry. Once they have read the carefully reasoned and passionately argued case I put forth in this letter, they will certainly be moved to action. Gentry Moutsai must be taught a lesson he will never forget. This is something we cannot do on our own. Also, I do not wish for anyone else to know of my involvement in this. Why not? You're only doing this to try and help Chang the Ninth, right? To silently disappear at the matter's conclusion, concealing one's name and contribution. This is the chivalrous thing to do. To savor the memory is ample reward. Each droplet of kindness I receive, I am duty-bound to repay with a welling spring of gratitude. I seek neither praise nor reward. That sounds very lovely. But be honest, you just want them to do it so you can carry on reading your book, don't you? Thank you in advance for delivering this letter to the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Someone from the Guild should be able to receive you near Lioli Pavilion. Hey! Stop ignoring Paimon! Excuse us, we come bearing news of a matter requiring your assistance. Uh, it's all in this letter. A letter? Oh, I see. This again. Oh, don't mind me. I was just speculating. Let me give this a read. Can he actually read this thing? Is it even written in the common tongue? Hmm. Yes, the script is inimitable by the uninitiated. Honored guests, you must both be wary from your long journey. Please allow the Feiyun Commerce Guild to be your host for tonight. Please rest assured that the matter written about has been duly received. We just need some time to prepare. Please take a seat here in Leo Lee Pavilion where you may enjoy some light refreshments while taking in the ocean view. Consider it a small token of our esteem. Yay! Tasty snacks! They're giving us the VIP treatment! Of course. We treat visitors with the utmost respect here at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. When honored guests grace us with their presence, far be it from us to shirk our duty to them. Please, this way. And Paimon thought we'd get kicked out, or turned away at the door. Paimon didn't think Guhua Geek had so much clout. Thank you for your patience. With the amount of wealth and power Gentry Mountsai has, it will take more than a slap on the wrist to get through to him. For him to correct the error of his ways, he must feel for himself the same suffering he has inflicted on Chang the Ninth. Since Gentry Maltzai's business has to do with Core Lapis, we simply need to buy up all the stock there is in Liu. That will put him in a rather sticky situation. Deprived of the necessary raw materials, even the best craftsperson in Tevat would be unable to make their product. Great idea! That'll be sure to mess things up between him and the Fatui. But Liu is huge! Is it really possible to buy up every last bit of Core Lapis in the harbor? With the time scale we are on, it is indeed a challenge. Hence, as stated in the letter, we must ask for your further cooperation in the matter. First, there are a number of vendors in the city you will need to buy from. I've marked their respective locations on your map. There is also some unsold core lapis at the chasm. You will need to purchase that too. Finally, there is Chang the Ninth's batch. Alrighty, so three sellers in the city, another one at the chasm, and then Ching the Ninth. Roger that! Of course. We are not expecting you to cover the costs. Wow! So many Mora! With cash like this, Paimon could rent out Liu Li Pavilion and eat there for a whole month! <laughs> well, this is not the first time we've had to do something like this. It's just par for the course now. All you need to do is strike a deal. The Feiyun Commerce Guild will handle the transportation and other trifling matters. Once you have purchased all the core lapis, please proceed to the Feiyun Commerce Guild's warehouse where you can see the rest of the plan unfold. Gotta hand it to Guhua Geek. This is some seriously solid work for a guy who lives in a fantasy world. Let's do this in the order the guy said. First the sellers in the city, then the chasm, and... Hi, anything I can do for you? 
you want all my core lapis? Uh, I've already agreed to several orders. That said, none are in writing. The buyers are being incredibly indecisive. Oh, it's for the Feiyun Commerce Guild? Hmm, seems business trends are about to change in Liyue. Oh, uh, <laughs> nothing. Just talking to myself. Come, let us sign a contract. Don't worry about my prior client. He hadn't made any down payments or anything. Quite common in the industry. Thank you for your patronage. We hope the Feiyun Commerce Guild will continue to do business with us. Good day, my friend. My apologies, but I'm out of stock at the moment. Please try again next time. Oh, I thought you were here to purchase Snezhnaya products. No, that I still have, although I ship it all to factories in Snezhnaya. I don't do retail. Too much hassle, not enough return. Sorry. What? <laughs> no, 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 no. Give me a second to think. Um... Uh, all right, I'll do it. Just need you to sign for it. Clearly no shortage of cash flow in the air. Oi! Shh! Keep your voice down. All of it? Though my business may not seem so big, I should warn you that I can get what you need, both legitimately and not so legitimately. <laughs> Best you give me an actual number. All of it would be far more than you actually want. Fe Feyun Commerce Guild? Well, why didn't you say so? If it's for the Feyun Commerce Guild, then sign on the dotted line, and I'll start getting things in order right away. <laughs> this is going well. Everything's so much easier when you've got stacks of Mora. Next stop, the chasm. Hello there. Are you in charge of the core lapis here? Aha, finally. I thought you might come. I hear the Feiyun Commerce Guild has been buying up all the Core Lapis stock in Liyue Harbor. As it happens, I do have a batch of Core Lapis that hasn't been shipped yet. It's all yours, if you name the right price. The original buyer's price was already quite high, so... Hmm. The best I can do is... 7 million mora. Are you serious? We spent less than a hundred thousand more on the rest of Liyue's stock put together! I'm afraid it has to go to the highest bidder. I'm breaching an existing agreement by selling to you, so it has to be worth my while. Uh, look, you have your problems to deal with and I have mine. You can take it or leave it, so if you're not buying, please leave me alone. Alright, alright, we'll pay, even if it is a ridiculous price. When we get back, we'll just have to tell the guild that we'll sell to this gentleman at four times the normal price in the future. Wait, surely there's no need for that. Please, don't do this. It's not even your money. Why be so frugal with it? It might be the guild's money, but we'll have a tough time explaining to our boss why we spent so much in one go. If he asks, all we can do is mention your name and say you gouged us over the price. I... I understand. I'm sorry, please. I, I don't want any trouble with the guild. There's just one other thing, though. There's been an issue with the delivery of this batch. Uh, several carts were ambushed by hilly churls. I don't know where exactly, but if I can't retrieve the goods, I can't sell them to you either. So, maybe you could go and look for the carts? There should be five of them in total. If you can find them all and tell me where they are, I'll sign the contract right away. Oh, thank you very much. This is a lot to ask, I know. That's that then. Well, no time to lose. Come on! <laughs> Let time on C. Yep, that's it. A 
another one down. That's it, all right. That's a big old stash of Corlathis. Here we go! Loads of core lapis here! Quick, make a note of the location! Oh yeah! We found it! Check out all that core lapis! Make a note of the location. We'll send the Fayoum Commerce Guild to collect it later. That guy said there were five carts in total, so that should be all of them. Let's get back. <sighs> this has all been quite exhausting for poor little Paimon. He definitely owes Paimon some snacks. Oh yeah, we found it. Check out all that core lapis. Make a note of the location. We'll send the Fayoum Commerce Guild to collect it later. That guy said there were five carts in total, so that should be all of them. Let's get back. <sighs> this has all been quite exhausting for poor little Paimon. He definitely owes Paimon some snacks. All five of them! Can you sell us the core lapis now? Oh, wonderful. Thank you both. Yes, let's make this official. I also hope you could put in a good word with your boss for me. Done and dusted! Yeah! We make a great team, don't we? Now for the final stop on our core lapis crawl. To chain the ninth place! Just who I was hoping to see. I was just thinking to myself, Gentry mount -sized thugs have been mysteriously absent for a while now. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Oh, don't worry. You won't be hearing from them again. Oh? What? What happened? Huh? Oh, oh, I see now. You're, you're in this trade, too. So you're trying to beat him to the post, eh? Appearances can be deceiving, that's for sure. But I don't care who you are. A discount of 70% is simply impossible. The maximum I can do is 40% off, and even then I'm, I'm only breaking even. No need. We'll take it at the market rate. You mean you're not trying to force the price down? What, what, what's going on? If I died and gone to heaven? I can't believe it. I will make a profit on this batch after all. But gentry mount-sized thugs could still come back after I've sold it. If Paimon told you they're not gonna bother you again, then you'd better believe they're not gonna bother you again. Huh. Okay, then. My situation can hardly get worse from here in any case. But tell me, what on earth do you plan to do with so much core lapis? Actually, it's for a commission. Can't go into too much detail. Thank you. Thank you a million times over. I really don't know what to say. Good people always get what's coming to them in the end. And so will the nasty people. Anyway, let's get going, because apparently we have a show to watch at the Feiyun Commerce Guild's warehouse. Welcome. The final act in this drama would not be complete without you two here as audience. You better believe it! We're the ones who've been doing all the work! What exactly have you been doing all this time? Uh, well... Naturally, I used the time to immerse myself completely in Legend of the Shattered Halberd. I managed to finish the book off, and I enjoyed every minute of it. Divine Halberd and Ominous Sword, Mir and Wei Yang. The way the story develops across the first five volumes, nothing short of exemplary. But the sixth volume? 
Ah, oh, words fail me. How blessed we are to have such an author grace our world with such works. And this is related to Gentry Meltsai, how? It's not. But when something surpasses expectations to such a degree, one must show one's appreciation. And it is thanks to your help that everything will play out just as I had foreseen. Why does Paimon have to be the only one who doesn't get what's going on? No fair! Uh, so go on then, tell me, what are we doing here? And what's this big dramatic showdown thing that's supposed to happen? Think about it. Gentry Mautsai goes searching for Core Lapis all over Liyue Harbor, and he doesn't find a single piece. He panics. Without the goods, he can't fulfill his contract. And if he can't fulfill his contract, he can't stay in good standing with the Fatui. He hears a rumor that the Feiyun Commerce Guild is the culprit. Panic turns to disbelief. Jinshi Mautsai is a hugely powerful figure in the business world. Never has anyone dared to target him like this. So regardless of whether it is revenge or a swift resolution that he seeks, he is certain to- So it was you! You were the one sticking your necks out for Chang the Ninth! Speak of the devil. I went everywhere trying to find someone selling Core Lapis before I realized the Feiyun Commerce Guild had been on an acquisition spree. Core Lapis is hardly a rare mineral, and yet suddenly the stocks dry up, just like that. Explain yourselves. What is the meaning of this persecution? We are not persecuting you, but protecting another, one to whom I am indebted. Upon witnessing an injustice, it is a perfectly normal response to rush to the aid of he who has been wronged. Was it not one of your own men who said, this isn't over? <clears throat> you clearly don't know what's good for you. I won't beat around the bush. Master, if you please, seize their Corlapis! Impressive. You are no commoners. <sighs> to continue this fight would be to incur greater losses than I can accept. Their strength is almost spent. Finish them off! The Core Lapis is almost within our grasp. Might I remind you that the Fatui's relationship with you extends to business matters only? I did not lend you my men to have them stir up trouble at your beck and call. W w w what are you saying? Master, everything I did, I did with only one thing in mind. To complete the order! Then figure it out by yourself. D don't go. Wait. Master, wait! My lord, what are you doing here? Are you hurt? Thanks to this valiant young man, I am unscathed. My lord? You? You are the heir of the Feiyun Commerce Guild? Indeed, my liege. I am Xing Cho, disciple of the Guhua clan and second son of the Feiyun Commerce Guild manager, and I make no secret of it. Drats! I've been played like a fiddle. Gentry Mautzai. Coercion and intimidation are hardly the attributes of a respectable businessman. The problems that your business practices have created, I have sought to resolve through mine. I shudder to think what the Fatui will do with you if you fail to provide their core lapis. You meddling swine! Well, go on. Tell me, what will you sell it for? Since you asked Chang the Ninth for a discount of 70%, Let's fight fire with fire, shall we? Three times the market rate sounds fair, no? How dare you subject me to such viciousness! This is a malicious and calculated attempt to run me into the ground! Deep breaths now. This is a simple decision. Will you buy or not? I... I... I <clears throat> fine. Have it your way. I'll find the money somehow. Happy now? 
On behalf of the Feiyun Commerce Guild, I thank you for your business, and hope you will continue to do business with us in future. You? Funny-speaking, book-reading, guhua-geeking, Tsingcho are the heir of the Feiyun Commerce Guild? So that massive stash of Mora you let us burn through in a day, that was from your private vault? T'was but a paltry sum. I got to make a very sound investment while putting Gentry Maltzai in his place. A classic two birds, one stone situation. You're too kind. You have valor in your heart, and that is worthy of admiration. Yikes! Paimon's been calling you Guhua Geek this whole time! Paimon read in one of these martial artist novels that when rich heirs like you get angry at someone, you have their arms and legs chopped off! <laughs> Paimon's toast! And sorry, very sorry! Please don't hurt Paimon! Calm down. Since you can fly, you hardly need your legs anyway. <laughs> save me! Save me! This is not a drill! Repeat, this is not a drill! Jokes aside, I have the two of you to thank for this successful resolution. Really, you are a huge help. Meanwhile, Legend of the Shattered Halberd was positively riveting. Much obliged if you could return it to Cheng the Ninth for me. I did nothing, and hence deserve none of his gratitude. The two of you, meanwhile, those strangers to the circumstances, stepped in and saved the day. To have made such valiant and chivalrous friends is more than enough for me, my liege. My lord, uh, forgive the intrusion. It's about your father. Please inform my father thusly. I have averted a disaster and earned a sizable sum of money in the process. Might this meritorious act compensate for my prior transgressions and earn me a few more days of freedom, perchance? Legend of the Shattered Halberd speaks of a domain that I should very much like to investigate. For all your clever long words, the fact is you're just a lazy bones who doesn't want to work! <laughs> What if I told you that a reward awaits you at Cheng the Ninth's palace, and not just his gratitude? A reward? Hmm... Well, that sweetens the deal somewhat. Ah, uh, it seems whatever I say, there's no persuading you to stay. Oh, I didn't realize you weren't aware. Thank you in advance for returning the book for me. I will take my leave now. May we meet again, fellow merchants. <laughs>